You want me to bring a group of hybrid rowdies up here into Acropolis? Phoebus nodded, choosing to ignore the casual manner of the thin, seedy Atlantean sitting in the chair before him. Though Jacan was a noble by birth, his form of dress and general disinterest in everything around him hid the fact well. His pale skin, small beady eyes, and long nose gave him a rat-like appearance that his thin, scraggly beard did nothing to hide. As disreputable as Jacan looked, Fivos knew the man to be possessed of a silver tongue. Come now, Jacan. We both know that this project has your name written all over it. I'll admit that you have my attention. And whipping the hybrids into a frenzy sounds like fun, but it'll also give them the illusion that they have power and influence. The miraculous have always tried to discourage that sort of thing. Why the sudden shift, Grandmaster? I get the feeling there's more to this than you're telling me. Fivos nodded, sitting forward in his chair and lacing his fingers on the desk in front of him. Of course you are right, Jacan. There is more. Before I explain myself, however, I need to know your honest opinion about the hybrids. You are a member of the Miraculous, and that speaks volumes, but I need to hear it from you. Jacan took out the sugar stick and sat back in his chair. To be honest, sir, I can't stand them. Arcos had it right when he referred to them as impure. I say send them all to the human world or somewhere other than here. We don't need them in Atlantis. I am glad to see that King Alexios has taken a stronger stance than his father. Fivo smiled. This was exactly what he hoped to hear. Jacan, I agree with you. There is no place in Atlantis for the hybrids. A glance into the lower city is all we need to see what they are. Filthy and savage. Jacan's head bobbed in understanding, and Fivos decided to take the risk, knowing full well that if he misjudged the man's convictions, then Jacan would not leave this room alive. My vision is for a pure Atlantis, completely free from the hybrids, even from a young age I have seen what they are capable of. Because of the past king's leniency, they have grown bold and even more dangerous. I know that King Alexios is doing what he can, but his hands are tied by the council. I believe that the time has come to force their hand. Phoebus reached for one of the roses that sat in a vase on his desk and slowly began to stroke the soft petals. I want to use your revolt as an excuse to override the council. They are sitting on the fence, and I need something that will shove them off. I would like you to set up a mob that will storm one of the bridges and enter Acropolis. Chikan raised the sugar stick back to his lips. If I unleash that kind of mob on Acropolis, there'd be a lot of vandalism and destruction. Some people might even end up dead. You sure that's what you want? Chikan, I have been preparing for this moment for longer than you can imagine, Fivo said, replacing the rose. Will you do it? The rat-faced Atlantean nodded slowly, a smile peeking out from around the sugar stick. Fivos reached into his desk and pulled out a piece of paper that contained a list of names. Here is a list of hybrid fanatics with political influence in the lower city. I would suggest that you start with them. Is there anything else that you will need from me? Jacan took the paper. The hybrids have always reacted strongly to the word impure. It has always lurked beneath the surface, but it needs to be brought out into the open. You need to have the miraculous start circulating it through the nobility and in the media. It will go a long way towards stirring up the resentment needed to pull this off. A few more of your pacifications in the lower city would also help tremendously. The more brutality, the better. Phoebus nodded, rising to his feet. I will take care of it, my friend. Gratitude for your time. He held out his hand, and Chacon took it. I am anxious to see what you can do with the impure. <laughs>